Hey YouTube, I'm going to be doing a review on the Easton S19 hockey stick. Um, <clears throat> this was the top of the line Easton when I bought it. Um, it's still one of their top end sticks, but it's a little lower than the e new Easton RS and the Mako. So, on this stick, Easton has used um, the elliptical profile technology which gives it a lower kick point resulting in more accurate, fast, and deadly wrist shots and snapshots. Also, they also have the torque te torch technology on it. What this does is it causes a stick to kick harder and be way more responsive putting out the maximum performance possible to a hockey stick. Um, overall, this this is a really great stick. Um, lasted a long time for me. Um, it's got a minor crack in the blade, so I can't use it anymore. Um, it's you can't see it because I have tape on it. Um, but yeah, Easton has g given this a Kevlar wrapping, which means, which basically what it means is it'll be more durable for the player and it will also have more of a response to the puck and you'll be able to feel where it is better on the stick. Another thing the Kevlar wrapping does compared to other sticks is it makes the stick last longer, last longer so it doesn't break as easy as others. So this stick, the goal behind this stick and the Kevlar wrapping system is to provide an ultimately long lasting stick that gets people to like Easton and go to their company to, and keep using their product. Um, this, per, this particular stick is the all black clear non grip one. Um, it's 65 flex Zetterberg curve. I personally like the Zetterberg curve. Um, it's not too big of a curve, and so, yeah, I really like the curve. Um, some negatives about this stick is the paint chips really easy. Um, as you can see, I haven't had this stick for too long, and the paint's already wearing off it pretty good. Um, it has... It has like a weird kick at the start. It's really hard to get used to. Um, I I am usually a Bauer type of guy, um, so, and I like how the Bauer sticks are mostly mid kick technology. But these ones, but these S19s are low kick. Um, like I said, it was really hard to get used to. I really had to shoot and use it a lot to get used to the stick and the feel. Um, I was just starting to get really used to it, and my shot was getting really good. And then in a game, I took a slap shot, and it cracked. So I have to get a new one, which I'm kind of angry about, because I have to get a ton of new gear this year, and it's going to be really expensive for me. So all that means is just even more money for me to spend. So, yeah. So, overall, I give this stick a 9.5 on looks, um, a 9.5 on performance, and a 10 on overall. Um, I really love this stick. It's a really, really great stick. I highly recommend it. And since the new Mako and the RS is coming out, has come out, um, they're going on a huge clearance at Pro Hockey Life. They are 159 or 159 for an immediate and 169 for a senior. I really, really highly recommend this stick. Um, so yeah, you should go pick one up. Um, like I said, they're going on a great deal. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.